error, just activate it, and it, and and you know you're going to see jobs created. Right. And that's it, the one thing they want to shut down. It, 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 it's it's always about short term gain. Right. Over over. I got mine. Uh, right. Right. Yeah. And uh, so it just uh, continues to amaze me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we we we. Um, I just want to say, and, and I know Deborah agrees with me, that uh, the Freedom Press, which is uh, the Northwest Florida Daily News and the Bay Herald are, are both organizations within that. Uh, my hat is off to Mr. Pat Rice and, and to Matt Dixon, and, and, and there's several other people that I, I, don't, I don't know their names, but they have really taken this thing head on. And, uh, yeah. And they're apparently the only newspaper in the area with the backbone to do so. Uh, uh, apparently. Um, they've written a couple editorials that I want to share with you um, on uh, uh, editorial. Let's be clear about clarity. Uh, now, let, let's, let's clarify real fast. Right. Um, Senator Gates, Senator... Representative Co right. Cooley asked for clarification. Right. They, for, North, for the Florida's Great Northwest Organization, right. they asked um, the state attorney general to tell them whether they should fall under sunshine law or not right. and the attorney general has decided that they do not <laughs> fall under sunshine yeah. law so um we're cautiously optimistic about senator don gates gates and representative cooley's plan to fulfill to file legislation that will define how florida's open government law applies to economic development groups that accept public as well as private funding so now these two these two members of the florida legislature have said well, now we're going to change the, leg the existing legislation they don't fall under. Right. We need to change the legislation. But we're watching out for wiggle words such as clarify and proper balance. The legislation would clarify the extent to which Florida's sunshine law should apply to organizations like Florida's Great Northwest, Senator Gates said last week. He added that he and Representative Cooley want a proper balance between transparency and the use of public funds and the ability of these groups to negotiate. Now, I'm going to look into the camera. Senator Gates, I told you what I thought about you in an email. I believe you're an honorable man. Now, I don't know Senator Cooley, but I will tell you this. It is not proper balance that we need. What we need is transparency, period, end of story. There is already an exemption to the law which allows during negotiations for, comp for a confidential period and myself and many others including Barbara Peterson, the First Amendment Foundation and many, many citizens of the state of Florida believe that is sufficient and there are no needed additional exemptions to this. And what we've always wanted to see are the salaries the benefits, the parties, right? That stuff is what we've always asked for, and well, we've been refused. You know the 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 you know the the team Santa Rosa four thousand dollar party. Right. Well, what did you spend the money on? Well, we get a cold right. shoulder when you ask that. Well, question. and the grant quote, quote unquote grant giveaways, the the right. payouts they're they're handing these people. That, right. Uh, uh, again, another editorial from Freedom Press. Uh, their editorial is strength and sunshine. Now. They they did comment that they uh, in the beginning of this they were happy that that an opinion was granted three weeks after it was asked for but they did make a few additional comments that's just as well the the attorney general's role always was going to be advisory not binding the solution lies in the legislature where Gates and Cooley are working on a bill that delineates what is and isn't subject to public scrutiny. We urge them to lean heavily towards openness and not secrecy, which I certainly support that. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of money passing through and being redistributed. For instance, the area economic development agencies are partially funded with tax dollars. Some of those tax dollars are used to pay membership dues to Florida's Great Northwest, which then returns some of that money to the economic development organizations as well as doling it out to other private and public groups. Taxpayers are not privy to how those funding decisions are made, nor to all of Florida's Great Northwest expenses, because, according to the AG, there is no formal delegation of authority between local governments and the private nonprofit. The practical effort, th though, is to create multiple layers of bureaucracy 
that separate tax dollars from public accountability. Now, I, I said something in the email and I'm going to repeat it for our audience. The mafia was not set up by a government organization either. But they act exactly the same way. They take tax dollars, they take money from hard-working citizens, they have secret meetings, and then they dole the spoils out to their fans, the, yeah. to their friends. And that's what's happening, is millions of dollars, tax dollars are going in, and then we decide, well, you can have a $100,000 grant, you can have hundred k, and and we've mentioned this before, but I want to run through it again because it's important. Uh, there's a there's a clear line that's possible where a county commissioner say contribute takes our tax dollars and uh, hands the economic development agency right. this much. They reshuffle it into grant form. They hand it out to company A, who then turns around and contributes to that same county commissioner's campaign, quote unquote. And you've got a perfect payout circle, and it's, <laughs> and they've managed to make it legal. Exactly. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is in, in my hands, and I, I'm not going to go into great detail over this, but this is the 11-page opinion. And, and for those of you that watch this show, that, and, and, I'm, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that will understand this comment, this is about as clear as, as a mud. Yeah. Okay. The Attorney General, uh, although Bill McCollum, the current Attorney General, did not write this opinion, it was through his office. Uh, Mr. McCollum, you should be ashamed of yourself for such trash coming out of your uh, office. This does. Uh, this is not a decision. Th 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 this, op this opinion just muddies the water. It makes it worse than it was before. It's, it's absolutely horrendous. I don't know why. They, it's an absolute waste of paper and time that they did there. Although, and I think he points this out, ultimately uh, the responsibility then comes back to legislatures. Right. Legislators to say, well, the law is not clear. Here's a clarification. You are <clears> subject <throat> to Sunshine Law because you are spending taxpayer dollars, right. period. One thing that I did notice in, in this opinion was I saw some verbiage used by the Attorney General's office that, that indicated to me that they had been given information. Now, one important thing that we need to point out to you is that Representative Cooley is a board member of Florida's Great Northwest. Yes. So you have the fox, goes to the, goes to the farmer, the Attorney General, and says, look, let me explain to you how things are actually working in the hen house, <laughs> which I certainly have, yeah. have a problem with that. And um, so I got to thinking about it, Deborah, and I said, you know what? Uh, you have to start at the beginning of a road to understand why the road made a turn. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is my official information request to the office of Attorney General. To the Honorable Bill McCollum, Attorney General from Jerry Cooey, Santa Rosa Week TV. Pursuant to Article 1, Section 24 of the Florida Constitution, Chapter 119, I am requesting inspection of the following public records. One, all documentation received by your office concerning Florida's Great Northwest from any source. Two, all documentation given to your office according to uh, concerning Florida's Great Northwest by Senator Don Gates. Three, all documentation given to your office concerning Florida's Great Northwest by State Rep. Coley, Cooley. Now, I'm going to look into the camera and say something, and, and uh, uh, of course, when this is, after this is on YouTube, I'll be more than happy to make sure that the Office of Attorney General gets this. The clock is ticking. I'll cut you some slack on New Year's Day, but on January the 2nd, if I have not received this information, I will have no other choice but to take this matter to whatever level is necessary. And it may include Jerry Cooey entering a lawsuit yeah. against the Attorney General of the State of Florida. Yeah. Now... Because with the intimidation tactics that we're now starting to see... It's, right. it, it, that makes it that much more important that people do stand up and, and, and at least pursue the legal avenue. That's the only thing available to right. them now.